Hey professor and everybody who's going to be watching this. Uh, today I'm doing my third lab experiment, which is the conservation of momentum. So it's a pretty straightforward experiment and uh, we're going to get right into, I'm going to get right into showing you how I set everything up and how it's going to work. So first, first off I have my tables to record all my information over here on the computer and then secondly I have my rulers and my marbles that I have set up um I did tape the rulers down that way that as I'm conducting multiple experiments the rulers don't keep sliding on me on this table um and they don't uh keep changing the sizes so it'll just make it a little bit more consistent a little bit easier for me to get a consistent reading on where everything is going to end up for these for this experiment. So for the first part of this experiment, what's going to happen is I'm going to start with one marble at my starting end over here. I'm going to start with the other four marbles in the center of the rulers. Uh, now there is just enough space for the marbles to slide on the table, not on the rulers. So when they collide with each other, it shouldn't hopefully bounce away and they should remain in the track that I've created. Um, now what I'm going to do is we're going to start with this marble over here is going to be getting sent towards these marbles. Uh, they're going to be stationary the entire time and we have all four of them touching each other. And then this one over here is going to going to fly in this way. It's going to hit the other marbles and send it across and send one marble out just like that. Um, this is very similar to the uh, Newton's cradle that uh, you see in offices and in stores and things like that, where one ball hits, it sends the momentum and kinetic energy through the other balls and then it makes the last one swing and then come back through and it just keeps swinging back and forth back and forth um so that is basically what's going to be going on with this one now as we go through and continue with this first part of the experiment every time we'll be steadily moving one marble over and taking one away from the center so now like here for example we got two marbles here and then three in the center We'll send both marbles at the same time over to these three, and we'll see what happens with these three marbles once those two collide with them. And then we're going to keep going basically until we have four marbles at our starting point over here, and then we have the one marble over here in the center all by its lonesome. And we're going to record all that information and everything uh, and all that data for it so that it makes it a little easier to see what's happening. Um, now, the second part of this experiment is going to be a little bit more, uh, is going to be a little different. So what we're going to do for the second part is I'm going to start with one marble over on the left, one marble over on the right, and they're, we're, I'm going to send both marbles towards each other at the same time, and they should meet somewhere approximately in the middle here, and then we're going to see what happens once they collide what I think is going to happen is they're going to collide and then they're both going to go back towards their starting areas. And we're going to basically just see which ones, um, when the momentum hits, which one goes off the track and which one, as it goes back, doesn't have enough momentum to make it out off the track itself as well. Um, and again, just like with the other experiment, we're going to start it adding marbles to one side or the other as we send them towards each other until basically we end up with a three and a, a three and two situation or a four and one situation over here like this as we send them both together to see what's going to happen with all those and then we'll repeat it with the marbles on the other side too where we have four marbles on the left and one marble on the right and we send all five towards each other at the same time and we figure out what exactly is going to happen with those once they collide. Um, and we're going to record those results as well to help give us some information. Basically, what we're looking for on those is how many marbles 
leave the right side of the runway and how many marbles leave the left side of the runway after they've collided. Um, and that's going to give us a lot of information about which way the momentum is directed as well as which way the kinetic energy is transferred um, once the collision actually happens. So I'm going to go ahead and get this experiment uh, taken care of and we'll see you guys when I do the next one.